From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OSU Update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Kyle Fredrickson. Kyle, Saturday will be senior day in Stillwater as OSU plays its final home game. Cowboys will say goodbye to a senior class, but I think some Cowboy fans may also be wondering, are they saying goodbye for the last home game for Mason Rudolph and James Washington, two draft-eligible juniors? Um, what are you hearing about pro prospects of these two guys? Well, it's sort of a, a mixed bag at this point. There's games to be played. Uh, these are two guys who have certainly improved their stock, I think, over these past couple months. Uh, Mason Rudolph, if you take away this past game with a couple interceptions he threw, uh, was fantastic uh, with his accuracy on intermediate routes, something that NFL scouts need to see from him, his game. Uh, and James Washington is dynamic every time he touches the ball. We, we've seen it for two plus seasons now. So in terms of where they uh, grade out now. Uh, Rudolph appears to be a possible second round guy. Washington, a third round guy, looking at one USA Today mock draft. Uh, but, you know, with so much time left in the year, with potential injuries, with which underclassmen come out, which ones don't, that list sort of changes and ebbs and flows. It's more of a talking point right now, but it's worth discussing because of the talent we've seen from these two players. Well, and as you wrote in the uh, Wednesday Oklahoman and on News OK, this is not unlike a decision that we saw a couple years ago when we saw Brandon Whedon and Justin Blackman decide together to come back. But does one impact the other maybe as much as it did back then? If, if Washington leaves, is Rudolph for sure going or vice versa? Do you get a sense of any of that? Yeah, you know, at this point, Rudolph and Washington won't talk about right. that because they're focused on the season. But you got to think that when they're thinking about their long-term futures, where they're developed at this point, where they'd like to be as potential NFL athletes. When you're able to work with another guy who's professional caliber, you want to take advantage of that. And I, I think when they look at next season, what they want to do in terms of going pro or staying, Blackman and Whedon really provide that blueprint of when it goes well when you go back. You know, they only improve their stock in that uh, 2011 Fiesta Bowl season uh, ended up both being first round picks so you could see that scenario possibly playing out if, if the Cowboys are as successful on offense as they are now once again loaded with all these receivers with Washington kind of in the lead. Yeah definitely so lots to watch and we'll continue to follow this story as the season progresses and be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.